Hi, everyone. So we're here today to recognize our YMP Era Thomas winner for this year. As many of you know, the YMP Award recognizes two young mining professionals, so a male and a female in the mining industry, who during the course of their career have demonstrated exceptional leadership skills and innovative thinking to provide value for their companies, their shareholders, as, a, as well as for themselves. This interview is all about getting to know the winners, their path and who they look up to and according to them, the qualities it takes to be a good leader. So in simple terms, the interview is all about getting to know the winners more personally. So, and this year's winner is Shelby Yi, who is the co-founder and CEO of Rock Mass. So congratulations, Shelby, for winning our YMP award this year. Thank you so much, Bianca, and thank you to everybody at YMP who is involved. So Shelby, do you mind just introducing yourself to our members and explaining how you started in the mining industry? Yeah, uh, so I'm Shelby. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Rockmass. And uh, Rockmass is a mining and geosciences tech startup uh, focused on data capture and mapping for technical services. We founded Rockmass in 2016. It was actually out of a PhD thesis um, and have since commercialized that. Uh, we're based in Toronto and uh, we work with mining companies all over the world. And I am a geo engineer by education. And I would say one of my first uh, interactions with the mining industry was at PDAC. I've been going uh, since I was a student, um, but I had never really thought about a career in mining until the first time I went underground. Oh, wow. And I <laughs> yeah. <That's interesting. laughs> and I was just amazed by the complexity and how interesting it was. So um, just after university is when I started Rock Mass Technologies and I mean, geotechnical mapping happens in a bunch of different industries, but um, really dove into mining, um, went on a bunch of trips to Sudbury in Northern Ontario. I was kind enough to, uh, or other geotechs were kind enough to let me shadow them uh, underground. And uh, that was kind of the beginning of where we got started. Oh, amazing. And just, okay, so just to get like a perspective, given your role uh, at, at Rockmass, what comes to mind when we talk about success or to be successful in the industry? <laughs> yeah, it's a big question. I think success can look and mean a lot of different things to everyone. Um, but for me, I think it's somebody who's ambitious, um, who has created an incredible community from an incredible business. Um, and then, you know, and it's not all about work. So having just really interesting hobbies and passions, um, close family, close friends. Um, I mean, <laughs> that's a lot, but I think that's kind of the uh, ideal of, you know, what holistically it, it would, might be to, to be successful. And is there someone, it could be more than one person you look up to in the industry? Oh yeah, I mean, I think I have got a lot of help and advice from uh, advisors throughout the whole journey of building rock mass um, that have given a lot of insight at different stages. So I, I'm very grateful to to everyone, um, whether that's the, the rock mechanics engineers that have taken me underground on site, um, some of the mining execs who have kind of given me their perspective. Um, but some of those people that I work with pretty regularly uh, would be Jane Kearns, um, Ashwath Mehra, Jake Hellerman, um, David Washburn, Ian Pierce. Um, they've, I've got a ton of insight <laughs> from them. So, <laughs> uh, And then I think there's a lot of people that I look up to. Uh, and specifically, there are a lot of female CEOs in the industry that are, are doing great things. So. Um, Amanda Hall at uh, Summit Nanotech, Ashley Kerwin, um, who's a former YMP. Yes, uh, yes winner. <laughs> uh, and Jody Kazenko, another CEO of Torex. I would say those are some people that I definitely look up to. Yeah, they're great people in the industry. Um, and just on a more personal level, what advice would you give yourself to, to your, like, I guess, to your 20 year old self? rather than the present yes. <laughs> yeah 20 year old wasn't that uh wasn't that long i mean ago, it's but... not long that long ago but still <laughs> i guess like a, a lot happened since mm -hmm. yeah i think uh 20 year old there's a lot of kind of attention and i probably you know a lot of the headspace goes to what do i want to be what am i on the right path 
am I doing all the right things? But I think that you actually don't really know, need to know what you want to do when you're 20. Um, I think just being open to trying new things that are challenging, that you think are fun, um, maybe slightly outside of your comfort zone is really what you should focus on. And um, just expanding your horizons and keeping an open mind. And if you have that mindset, I think that you'll be able to figure it out and you'll you'll be all right. Yeah, that's really good. Really good for our members that are like our young YMP members that are listening. So thank you for that advice. Um, yeah. We discussed success early on. What about leadership? Um, what qualities do you think it takes to be a good leader? Like, especially given your position as kind of a CEO. Yeah, it again, I think there's a lot of different leadership styles that can be uh, really captivating and successful. I think for me, um, being a great listener and putting people first has been the most important. Um, people bring very unique and specialized perspectives and it's really important to hear all of them out. Um, and then enabling people to see the bigger picture and how their roles make a difference in helping achieve this huge ambitious goal. Uh, and then being grateful. So everybody's working really hard uh, and recognizing that um, they're doing that and um, being grateful for, for the work that everybody puts in around you. And it, I think it's fine that you always have to kind of give feedback and be a little bit direct sometimes, but just always doing it from a place of caring and constructive feedback. Okay, yeah, that's that's really good. And just um, again, on a more personal level, um, do you have a morning routine, whether it's at work or pre-work? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I'm based in Vancouver um, and our company has a location both in Toronto and Vancouver. And so my mornings start, I mean, in mining terms, I guess I start at a normal time, but you know, I wake up at 6, 6.30, which actually is sleeping in for a lot of people on site. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, so usually if I'm not in a call right away, then I'll grab coffee and just listen to um, The Economist and TechCrunch, New York Times morning news. Um, so my morning routine is pretty short, <laughs> but once uh, Eastern hours are kind of closing and finished, I would say my more routine time is after work and before sunset. <laughs> so whether I'm going mountain biking or trail running um, oh, in the winters, if I'm yeah, if I'm near a ski hill, then my friends uh, have coined the term a victory lap for the end of the day. So catching the last lift up the ski hill doing one lap and then you know if there's work to do i can do it after dinner but that's kind of more in my routine fun time oh the joy of living in vancouver <laughs> that <Yeah>. sounds really <laughs> good actually post work yeah. routine or mid work routine <laughs> i love that um and then again another personal question but which book have you given the most i, I you know there's there's so many books that i could recommend big reader but uh, for leadership, I would say The Trillion Dollar Coach by, I think it's Eric Schmidt, is, uh, I really like that book for um, leadership style. And then for young professionals, there's a book called So Good They Can't Ignore You. And I think that's really uh, interesting and fulfilling book when you're maybe graduating or you're at the end of university trying to figure out what you want to do. Thank you for those. And in terms of plans for 2022, is there any plan you can share regarding the company or yourself? Yeah, so I, from the company's perspective, I would say this would be uh, our biggest year of growth, which is really exciting. Um, so I'm excited to be continuing to build on the products that we do have. So right now it's primarily focused with geologists and geotechnical engineers for mapping underground. Um, and expanding those capabilities to have uh, kind of start to end approaches with all the major software companies like uh, Sequent, Rock Science, Deswick, uh, et cetera, to, to be able to take data and use data in a seamless way. Um, and then of course, a little, I guess, <laughs> with all of the product development and business growth that's happening, uh, a bit of a shameless book, we are hiring like crazy. So, um, oh, very good. Also <laughs> so listener, <laughs> like, Pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check out our careers page. No. Uh, <laughs> and so that's good. exciting. It's always nice to, to bring on new, amazing people to the Rockmas team. 
Absolutely. Really, really good opportunities. Um, and just to wrap up this interview, Shelby, do you have any advice you would give to our YMP members listening? Uh, one, I think something that I've seen and that's really exciting in the industry is that there the time for adopting new technologies seems to be right and um, we're seeing more and more of that happening and I think for young people and organizations and a lot of the people that we work with are, are young people and they're really the champions of bringing technology um, to the mining industry so whether that means you're a, a beat geologist or a junior analyst somewhere I think you can have an impact and you can bring technology into the industry. And uh, from the tech side, we need champions and, and people to, to do it. So don't be afraid. <laughs> great. That's a great way to like wrap up our interview. Uh, thank you so much, Shelby, for your time today for just discussing and and allowing our, our YMP members just to get to know you a bit more like personally. So that's really appreciated. And, and again, congratulations on winning the YMP Thomas Award this year. Really good. Yes, thank you so much, Bianca.